Alright, guys. I did a video like three or four months ago. <clears throat> over here at the... Uh, I'm sick, so my voice is all different. Um, over here at the terminal yard. The marine terminal where they ship in goods. Um, I, I believe I was standing right here at the end of one of my clips. And there was like a chain link fence right here where this where this barrier is now. I believe it's still their property line, but they built the wall behind it. But I was focusing, I was right here. Pretend the wall wasn't here. I'll share the clip. Take a video from over here. There we go, let me see how far I can go. He can see me, he's looking at me. Bam, bam. What's up, brother? I miss you. I long to talk to you again. Tell them where I went. And then let's like walk over this way. It's funny, like, dude, they built this wall. Look how big it is. Holy shit. And that's what I'm talking about, I mean, they say, um, you can't film in here, and I say, build a big-ass wall around it if you don't want me to film for public, and they did. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna walk a little bit, but I'll probably fast-forward and cut clips and shit.
Yo, if I get in any shit tonight, yo, if I get any shit, yo, I'm I'm going in on people. Not a question in my mind about it tonight. Lock me up, throw away the key for freedom. So this guy pulled up. I didn't see where he came from. He might have came out of the yard, but he raced right on in here. I'm pretty sure I caught it on film. He parked right there. He came out of his car, went to the side of the building, opened it up, said something without shutting the door, came out, went back to his vehicle, pulled off, and went right there. Alright, so this is interesting. You know, this person just um, pulled onto this road and parked on the side. This guy's out now. He's making his escape. This person pulled on the side of the road. Alright, there he is. See him? He's driving back in, yeah, that's him, that's the truck. Yeah, he's with them. He thinks I'm um, some kind of suspicious character. All I wanna do is a story on this railroad, legit, this railroad. This railroad has been, um, Impeding people's way, man. This this stop sign is not a legitimate stop sign. There's no intersection here, right? And and even if it was an open railway track, they would have to have arms or lights. It it, it doesn't make any sense for you to tell somebody to stop for a railroad track that has a closed fence on that side and is rarely used. It's just called lazy. Now, like these people, this was a big part of the campaign for Sweeney, uh, Steve Sweeney. Uh, his big part of his campaign was he was gonna bring a port to Paul's bro, right? So, so in doing that, he, he ended up getting an election. But now, you see, there's a stop sign telling people to stop for a railroad track. Which it shouldn't be a stop sign. It should be real arms or lights that flash. Uh, I have another vehicle coming out of here. I got high beams on me now. Hey, how you doing, buddy? What's going on? I'm doing a story about the railroad track that runs across here. Right. Now, everybody's been complaining because there's a stop sign here. Right. When it's not an intersection. And, there's, and for real, actual safety precautions, there should actually be arms or lights that come down for the railroad crossing. I've said that for the last month. Especially since there's a fence that stops, that opens only when the train comes because you guys are professional enough to open up the train. Could open another hour or so. Yeah, but like, you know, I ha I've had people that have been, like, they kind of roll through it a little bit. They, they, you know, they're careful. Local people go right through it. Uh, I've, I've got 20 of them on tape right here, right? On film. Do me a favor. I'm not, I'm not, I'm no, not that yet. Just go over there, because they don't want nobody in their property taking pictures. I'm not on anybody's property. Right now, I'm on a public easement. Okay. 
okay. where you have the right of way to walk. Yeah, there's like a property line that you guys have. Who's complaining? Brian Hurt is on the shop. He said this guy's over there running videos. Yeah, he's running videos standing in the street though. You can't stop him from that. He's taking pictures of cars running them stop signs. You're awesome, dude. You actually know your stuff, man. I told him. So it's our property. If you're in our property, can you do them out? Yeah, I'm just doing a story. I'm just... Yeah, well, he's standing in the street. He's not on our property. No. You over there, were you? No. I was up and down the street. That's it. If you were over there, don't go over the door. Over where? Back here. Oh, no, no, no. I was up and down this street. Yeah, well, he's in the middle of the street now. He can't do nothing about it. Hello? Is there a car there that you might be driving? You got a car here? Nope. I uh, parachuted in. <laughs> now he's walking. He's going to the car. I don't know. He's probably local, I told him. Take a picture of how he's going to the stop sign. They want to try to get some way there. They want to try to get red lights or gates up. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Thank you, bud. I told a couple of big horses here. So it's ridiculous. The property, our company works the yard. Well, what happens if an accident does happen, even if well, you guys, oh, you know... Well, no, it took two or three people get killed, they'll fix it. Even if you guys have people with flashers out here saying stop and somebody doesn't... Well, the bad thing is, I don't have the authority to stop cars. Right, no, yeah, you don't. Yeah, you have to be in the I, public I authority. I engineer what's what. These are, these are throw flares out, which helps a little bit. Slow right, them down. yeah. Well, like I said, you see the train, it's got reflectors on it. As soon as somebody gets killed, this place will light up like a Christmas tree. Well, in my mind, everybody's responsible for their own safety, but legally... Accidents happen. Legally, somebody, there's insurance, there's somebody lawyers. Run, somebody runs into that train right now with no lights It's not going to be good. I'm just trying to help. Yeah, hold a lawsuit. I'm just trying to help Holt out with that. Just because... You don't work for Holt, do you? No. Well, not at all. Holt ain't no. got much to do with this. No, I don't even own a Twit card, man. Yeah, he... Uh, it's, the train comes for his material, but he ain't in charge of this area. These people here are. Oh, okay. Well, it's just what? It's well, County something. Oh, so it's not Holt Logistics? No, Holt Logistics runs all the equipment out there to unload the ship. Oh, so this is actually just called Paul's Marine Terminal. Paul's Marine Terminal. Paul's gotcha. Marine Terminal. The county and they contract. Yeah. Gotcha, I gotcha. So no, I, I was just narrating to the camera that Steve Sweeney, a big part of his campaigning, was part of this place, and they have a train track over here that has no arms or lights, and they want to sit there and tell people to stop. When people get pulled over, they say, what, well, is that a county sign? And the cops say, yeah, it's a county sign. Well, all right now, they're going to be coming out heavy, all the workers. All right. They're going over here to clock out. Oh, I'm not worried about that. No, I'm going to watch that don't run you over because they're in a hurry to get out. Uh, oh, I know. I've seen it. I've come back when I was working down the street there. Uh, say, I'd go on the other side. They cut you go. off. Yeah. Yeah, they've been coming out like hotcakes now. Yep, it's crazy. All right, thanks for your time, bud. No problem. Yep. And you heard what I said. I. Yo, you're the man, I, dude. I can't chase you out of the street. The other guy on the radio was scared, but you, you know. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot, buddy. I'll let you go, bud. Yeah. Have a good night. Damn, man, that's the kind of response that I want, man. And it feels so good when somebody comes up and he's like, look, man. He's, he's on the public, man. He's, you know, he's got his own agenda in the public and just leave him alone. 
And they're like, all right, man, come back then. As that's what he said on the radio. I'll have to look at the footage and see how much uh, audio it picks up um, from our conversation. But that guy was really cool. He understands. He was like, man, I've been telling them the same thing. That they need to have arms or lights on that railroad crossing. The, a stop sign just isn't enough. So, um...